There he is. He's out right there. So we're gonna go ahead and fade these guys right now. Let's see if they come out. Here we go. Ready to fight. So guys, check them out. All those chickens. What are we doing here? What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another safe venture. I know it's been a while, but we're having some fun. Come terrible, Tim. There's a massive something on this tree right now. We just gotta make sure we can catch it. So the other side, it's so big. Is it gone forever? Oh, it's over here. Come on this side, Tim. Hey, Check it out, guys. Oh, it sees me. It sees me. It's huge. I wish you guys could see. It's on the top. You have to go on that side. I'm going on this side. Oh, there he is. He's out right there. No, Joe, you missed. Where'd he go? He's up a little further. Uh, right, oh, right there. Where's right there? Oh, I see him. He's all right there. Huh. Go get the fishing net. I mean, not the fishing. Oh. He's all the way up there now. Dang. We oh. tried. We tried oh. our best. Are you okay, Tim? <laughs> yeah. All right, today what we're going to actually do is an update on all of our crayfish. All of our colorful lobsters. I have so many. I've moved all the ones in my room. Some of the babies, all the babies, it's so many of them. They're inside that bathtub that I made at Crayfish Oasis. But we're not only gonna be doing an update, we're gonna be giving them a big, massive pond. So check it out. All right, Slayers, so I wanted to go ahead and do a little update on our babies. Look at them. These are our white babies. These are the remainder of the white babies that aren't growing so fast, but they're still growing and doing very, very well. There's a little white baby there, white baby there, and of course, another white baby there. Come on, camera, do your job. Focus, you have one job. Come on, come on, come on. So here they are, they're doing very good, and their everyday staple food is Shrimp Cuisine by Hikari. I always say and approve this message that Shrimp Cuisine is the best possible food to go ahead and help raise baby crayfish. Yes, baby crayfish. Look at them, look how big that one is. So what we're going to go ahead and do is in the future, when we're done, we're going to go ahead and get an enclosure, set up several tanks so that each little crayfish can grow up and be very big and strong so we can make more crayfish. So we're going to go ahead and fade these guys right now. Let's see if they come out. Here we go. Just drop that down the hatch. They should start smelling and they should start coming out instantly. Look, look at the little claws coming out. They're like, <laughs> look at them. They're looking around for the food, sensing it. Look at this little guy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Alrighty, cool. So you'll find those pellets and the pellets will float and sink and they clean it up very well. There are cleaners. Look at him, he's so excited. He just caught one right now. How cool, huh? Sweet. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and head outside and see the other crayfish. All right, Slayers. So here we are at the crayfish pond and come check them out. Let's look inside to see what there is to see. Now there's a mixture of everything and oh my gosh, there's red ones now. There's red ones. So what's cool is sometimes with the environment, they change colors and some of the brown ones can turn red or white or whatever the case may be and they change colors. So everyone's in here, Captain America, Pearl, the whole nine yards, everybody. So we have to go ahead and try to get everybody and then get them set up in their new pond and their new home. So what I'm gonna do is start removing stuff. Oh, actually first, just in case we catch some crayfish, we're gonna use the same water, they're in. There you go, Alrighty. I have this trusty net to help me catch them, nothing too serious, but it's nice and thin so they can fall on here. What I'm gonna do is just remove all of the decorations, their homes. Do we have anything in here? Oh look, we have some in here, we have a little brown one. Look at that. Let me see if I can get into the light real quick. Look at the colors, it's like orange and brown. So cool, so interesting, sweet. So that's one into the bucket. We're gonna put the bucket out here so then we can see them. Now we have one million more to go. All right, so that was the castle. I have this head here. Let's see if there's anything inside the head. Anyone home? Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Oh, look, we have a blue one. We have one of our beautiful blue ones. Oh, look, that looks like a male. He's aggressive. We're gonna go ahead and analyze all of them. Fall in there. Thank you, buddy. So now we're moving. We move that. Anything else? Just leaves. What else we have in here? We have this huge piece of driftwood that can house a lot of crayfish. Ugh. Just gotta look around. Let's go over here just in case they fall out. Look around to see if there's anything inside. There's nothing. So there's no crayfish in here. 
right now. So now we have everything out. Here comes the fun part, guys. We're gonna go ahead and try to scoop up every single crayfish. So bear with us. All right, here we go. Let's see what there is to see. See if we can catch any. Got my eyes on a nice little red one here. Look at this. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Look at this beautiful red one. Dude, I didn't even know that they even had any in here. They could have been breeding the entire time. Captain America could have gotten jiggy. What I'm hoping is that we can find all those crayfish that they're all together. That's what I, that's my hope and goal, that we can find them together. You got a minnow. Oh, I got a minnow? Look, I got a minnow. Oh. Yeah. All right, minnow, I'll let you go. Look at this. They have been doing some serious crossbreeding in here. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So we still have some browns, but look at the colors on that thing. You see that? That is so sick. All right, here, go inside. Nice. Man. But like I was saying, guys, my goal is to be able to have all of the ones that had their own tanks back in their own tanks. There's a white one here that's pretty big. Look at that. One of our white babies having a tough time with this right now. But we got one. Nice. Look at this thing. All right, all right, all right. Don't pinch me. Sorry, guys. We're going to continue to look through. There's one right, right where? There. It's right kind of dark. Yeah. Oh, this looks like Captain America. Is it Captain America? I'm hoping. Oh, he just scared up a blue one too. Really? I only see I only see the bright colors right now. There's another red one. Looks like a brown one with a red or something. Get in here, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh he wants to fight. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Alrighty, there we go. And we're just gonna continue netting them, guys. Continue netting them. So we'll be checking in here and there once we find some more interesting color crayfish. And yeah, pretty much. See you soon. Look at that one, ready to fight. Look at that. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? The substrate color changes them. They're like brown and white all at the same time. So interesting. I love these lobsters. There you go. Okay. Well guys, we found Captain America and look how much darker he's gotten. Look at this. So dark. See that? Oh, relax so dark you see that the environment changes it all it's like black now he was blue and red look here at all, look at all of them first of all yeah you're right there's so many you see me too. I mean, we're in the shade and stuff let's go ahead and put you in the light for a second but look at it yeah that looks amazing i wasn't able to focus on him when he was on your hand look at that it's so dope sweet all right let's go ahead and get some more all right guys so we finished capturing every lobster we had in that bathtub okay so come check them out right now as you can see we have a lot of colorful lobsters right here we have a few white we have a few blue now red which is interesting looks like they've been breeding in between because now if you look I have like a reddish white one here and then here is a white one right there so reddish white I guess they went and got jiggy with it and they made each other I have red ones I still have brown ones so they've been breeding in between and I've been kind of wanting to see if I can make my own version of a crayfish lobster. Now we also have Captain America, but unfortunately, ow, that's Captain America for sure. Fortunately, he only has red claws now and a white body and he's lost the blue. Ow, ow, And but he has a white on his whiskers and everything like that. So that's what happens when you have like black substrate and stuff, they possibly change their colors. So on top of that, here's good news. But we have Papa Smurf. This is Papa Smurf. These are his claws and everything. He looks great. He's looking good. He's looking good. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little bit of red in him. A little bit of purple and red. Yeah, you see that? And on top of that, we have, believe it or not, she's over here. Here she is. Smurfette. Here's Smurfette. That is Smurfette. So we have Papa Smurf and Smurfette. So I kind of want to keep those now that we have them and I want to put them in their own tank like the same tank I had with Captain America and Papa Smurf that was divided, both Smurfs in there. And I'm, I gotta find these guys a home and I know someone who's gonna appreciate them. So before spoiling that surprise guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and meet you guys there. All right Slayer, so as you can see, here we have all of the beautiful crayfish. Look at all the colorful lobsters we have. And we're at Catch Em All Fishing's Pond. Come check out the pond, come look, come look, come look. It's nice and clear and clean. He's been working. Look at the peacock, the jaguar, everything, all of the above. 
It looks so freaking cool. Anyways, we're not gonna actually be putting them inside of this pond because if we do, they die. And we don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna actually do is, I think the best possible place for these beautiful colorful lobsters is the koi pond. The koi are gonna eat them. They'll be able to breed. They have natural flowing water coming in all the time. So why not have a whole bunch of babies in that koi pond and surprise Zach? You know, we're, we're having this weird thing, like to see who can surprise each other the best. And right now I think, I think I'm winning. All right, come check them out, guys. We still have some of the Skittle Squad. When Zach went ahead and did his roller coaster, there's the Skittle Squad right there. The Glowfish, Big Mollies and everything like that. But these beautiful koi, the big koi. That's the koi I caught eons ago. That orange koi, Timmy himself found it, searched it, captured it. Now we have a beautiful orange dragon koi. Well, I say we because this is pretty much like, Zach and I pretty much share all of our stuff. And yeah, pretty much. So. This is probably the best habitat for the crayfish. There's a lot of rocks. There's a lot of substrate on the bottom. There's a lot of algae. There's constant poop and everything like that being here at all times. So the crayfish is gonna eat, get happy. They make babies and then there's babies everywhere. Therefore, we're gonna have millions and millions of blue and whites and reds. And we're not, they're no longer gonna be one in a million because your boy's been breeding them like crazy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check them out right now. So guys, check them out. All those chickens look at all those chickens <laughs> so we're gonna check on them again we'll grab one real quick whoa whoa we're losing them right now we have the beautiful papa smurf we have this nice red one which is very interesting this is a male this is also a male chill out here kiddos and then we also have this very fiery female oh <laughs> that's captain america that 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 guy's crazy ow so we have everything we need. I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna release them right here, right now. Someone just texted me, it was the wild world of Farley. What's <laughs> up fam? So he wants to go hang out. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and release these beautiful crayfish in this pond. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been a while. It's been a while since I posted, but I have a whole bunch of videos ready to go for you guys. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next day adventure. Booyah.